For a year and a half now, I've been calling for what was so clear to me already then. The way to save Israel. A referendum, a mishalah, a referendum. This two-headed, endless government for seven years. It sat eating and fressing and taking money and deciding not to decide anything as the country crumbled and fell apart. Afraid to deal with, with issues every single week. Another cabinet, cabinet meeting, another table, another stillman. We cannot sit by quietly. The country is falling apart. We have to make decisions. And I wanted decisions by the people, by the people. Make the decisions and then lock in any government, which will be. Then, whether it's Paris, Shamir, the decision will have been made. What? Shall we annex the territories? Yes or no? Let the people vote on it. Two. The Arabs. Shall we give the Arabs the choice? Live in the country as non-citizens. Nothing to say in the country. Just with your personal rights? Or leave the country? Yes or no? Three. Shall the Kaf movement be allowed to run for office just like Muhammad, Muhammad, Muhammad Bayari, the Tufik Tubi. Yes or no? I'm, I'm ready to gamble my whole future that we'll win on every single one of those questions. The news media here, the frauds, the liars, the perverters, say, Israel split down the middle on these issues. Nonsense, nonsense. An overwhelming majority of people inside Israel wants to throw the Arabs out. Of course it does. An overwhelming majority says, annex the territories. Of course it does. If you, if you poll the people at the King David Bar, yes, you certainly <laughs> get a fairly high percentage of people that say it is a nice. And then they go back to Toledo. <laughs> but go to Chatzor, Yutivot, Tveria, where the normal people live, and ask them there, and you'll see what people really think. 